Canada's relationship with China all comes down to phones. This incident has led to the uh, severe difficulties the two countries are facing. The new Chinese ambassador to Canada is making it perfectly clear exactly what has to happen to improve the relationship between the two countries. We do urge the Canadian side to take our concern and the position very seriously and to release Madame Wang to let her travel back to China safely so as to create conditions for the bilateral relationship to go back to normal track. Canada's relationship with China deteriorated after Canadian officials arrested Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou under an extradition treaty with the United States. Meng is the chief financial officer of Huawei, a Chinese telecom company trying to gain access to Canada's 5G network. It's not clear yet whether Canada will allow that to happen. China hit back arresting two Canadian businessmen. China, with a history of human rights abuses, including imprisoning Muslims, complains that Canada is violating Meng Wanzhou's human rights. It is a very serious political incident plotted by the United States. And for Canada, it has abused the extra treaty, the treaty of extradition between Canada and the United States, and arbitrarily detained Madame Meng, which violates her legitimate rights. China also cut off Canadian canola imports and for a period Canadian meats which have since been allowed back in. China argues that the arrest of Meng Wanzhou is politically motivated but denies their arrest of Canadians is simply revenge. Meng Wanzhou's extradition hearing is scheduled to begin in January. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.